Hello and welcome to another one of Sporty's product pirate videos. My name is Doug and today we're looking at Flight Gear iPad Bifold Kneeboard from Sporty's. We have two different sizes, a larger size for the 9.7 to 11 inch iPads as well as a size for the iPad Mini. On the outside of the kneeboard we have a chart pocket as well as an ID pocket. On the back you have two strips of padding and this helps make a firm surface against your leg. You notice your leg is curved and the kneeboard is kind of flat so these just match up to your leg. But the real magic on this kneeboard is how the iPad attaches to it. So on the inside of the kneeboard we have this mounting board. That goes on this side and it comes with these two brackets. And Because these brackets are movable and adjustable it'll fit almost any size of iPad. For starters I put the, the one bracket at the very bottom of the kneeboard and then I'm going to take my iPad. In this case I have a 9.7 iPad from 2017 and I have a really thick pivot case on top of mine. I'm going to put that on the bracket at the bottom, take the other bracket, put it behind here and you'll notice that these brackets have elastic on them. So when I put it in there I'm going to pull down on the bracket creating some tension and then affix it to the board. I can use the elastic strap to put on my leg and now the iPad is firmly attached to that board. What's neat about this board is there's a kickstand on it. Oftentimes you'll find in a cockpit especially like this 182 with the sun blaring in through the front you'll get a massive reflection on the iPad when it's laying flat. By adding some elevation to your iPad you can take the glare that used to be outside the uh, aircraft and get it to your shirt or inside the aircraft and really see your screen a lot better. In addition to the elevation function, you can remove this pad and go to landscape. So it'll work landscape and portrait as well as kicked up or laying flat. Because of the way the brackets are designed, it will work for just about any size of iPad with or without a case. So mine has a big case on it. I can remove my iPad and take out this one. This is an iPad 10.2 inch. And you can see there's no case on it. And I can easily put it in the bracket here, put the bracket up top and do the same thing I did before. Pulling down on the bracket, creating tension between those two brackets. And now the iPad is firmly attached. This will work either at the tops or if you like using it on the sides. We'll put one end down first and then push against it create the tension and the other down end down second. So I could do it horizontal or portrait any way I like. On the side of the kneeboard we put a lot of pockets and organizing area here. So there's a zipper pocket that is perfect for like a backup iPad battery. This way you can keep your iPad nice and charged. And you'll notice when it's closed there's a flap that goes over it. This protects the zipper from ever touching the iPad screen. These two pockets are flat and perfect for storage of charging cables. And we have these two loops right in the middle of the kneeboard that are sized for stylus or pens or even a little pen light will fit in there. A couple of tips when using this kneeboard. There is a hole here on the side. And I, that's so I can tuck this strap through it. And now if I want to get rid of this flap I can tuck it underneath and reattach to my leg. So now I have a slimmer kneeboard without that massive flap on the side. If you don't need the elevation feature you can easily remove this uh, bracket, take your mounting brackets and attach them to the kneeboard itself. And do the same thing you did to attach before. And now you don't have this thicker uh, mounting board in the way. You have a more slimline uh, knee board. You can see how we did that. It was just 
use the same strip of Velcro that is used for the kickstand on the back of the mounting board. The side of the knee board has this soft fleece-like material that's perfect for adhering our gear mods to it. So we sell extra pockets, extra pen and pencil organizers, so you can further customize this knee board for your liking in the cockpit. While we have two sizes of knee board, we have the 9.7 to 11 inch and the iPad mini, you'll notice that the iPad mini board will also fit the larger iPads. Because of the way these brackets are designed, they can really fit almost any size. I'll attach the iPad mini. It's smaller, slimmer, takes up less footprint in my bag. And then I can take my iPad with its big honking case on it. I have this bracket attached to the very bottom so it overhangs the bottom. And then I can put the top one on. And there we go. We have a larger iPad mounted to a smaller board. The knee board is reversible, so it'll work either on your left leg or your right leg with the flap crossing the middle of your lap or down the center. It's really however your cockpit allows you to use the knee board. Preferably, I'm a right-hander, so I put it on my right leg with the flap hanging down here. Thank you for joining us in another Sporty's Product Pirate videos. Like us on Facebook, hit that subscribe button here on YouTube, and check out sporties.com for all of these products.